Well, shit. Guys, yeah, so what, something I didn't really expect at all. I was like, what the hell? Like, I've got there to the hospital, 9am, or whatever time it was, already bags packed, looking forward to getting this done and recovering and getting on with my life. What happened is they got, oh, sorry, um, it's been cancelled, didn't you know? Guys, I had to change the angle because uh, it's too hot that side. Um, it's a it's a lovely day, I'll be honest. And like I said, I was ready for this surgery, all sorted, and that is cancelled. We're like, why? Oh no, the guy that does the anaesthetic uh, wasn't happy with something, so he cancelled it on Friday. I was like, yeah, but on Monday, you all agreed to it. You said it was fine. You said I was going to have the surgery. And then, what, you change your plans? I mean, yeah, fair enough. Maybe they made it out of safety, but... I mean, someone should have bothered to call us, like... They're like, oh, the admissions people didn't call you, did they? They didn't send you an email, like, no. Oh, well, they should have. It's, you know, pass the buck to them. Okay, so we've got no one to take out our anger on, thank God. Because whoever it was, they would have been severely injured because yeah I was just incomplete like what like everything we just figured out like in your head you plan everything and you figure everything out and you like this and this will happen you know and you get things like mentally you get ready and you're you, you're prepared and you're like okay after this I can relax like personally I was like okay I can get on with my football season um, you know, get back to normal life. But no. They put a dagger right through that. Like, nope, like, this year is testing. Not just me, a lot of people. And it is such a cliche, oh, the last two years were bad, but this is worse. It is. Could it get any worse? It's hard to say, it's different. But yeah, this year I haven't had my life. I haven't had the normal life either. No one has for two years, but... This year ain't getting any, any better. Not at all. And yeah. If it was going to test me this year, it certainly did, bloody hell. Like those bastards, like. It's urgent, I need this surgery. I'm only going to lose more weight if I don't have it. I'm only going to be more ill. Then they're going to be like, okay, you need to gain more weight. But like, well, it's your fault because you cancelled my bloody surgery. So when I see this anaesthetist guy that does anaesthetic, Whatever, whatever you call them. I'm gonna be like, are you the guy that messed up my whole summer for your bloody politics? I mean, maybe there's a good reason, I don't even know. There's not even a clear answer as to why. It was to do with the, um, the intensive care part after where I would be staying for that. Making sure that was overseen properly in the recovery. But like, don't you go through with that procedure? You know, get me in for the tests. You can do it. And I was like, any chance we can rebook it? Like, no, unfortunately, we gave away um, your slot for the surgery. I was like, thank you. Because if they, they did um, come to an agreement, I could have done it still. But no, also because they're like, oh, the anaesthetist's on holiday now. I was like, convenient, you know what I mean? Best time to plan a holiday. I mean, it's the worst time to have a surgery. Middle of summer when they're all going away, these doctors. It's just ridiculous. And I had to, I had to make a video. I had to, like, I was unbelievably pissed off that day. Just went around London, just made the most of the weather. That's what I want to do, forget it. I want to enjoy my time as much as I can. Despite um, the pain I'm in sometimes, because of needing this surgery. Um, long story, you know what I mean? Like, I'm dealing with it, but how long can I deal with it before I end up in A&E again? And that's what I'm saying to them, like, I'm only going to get more ill if that does happen, or lose more weight. So it's a catch-22, really. It's out of my control again. If it was in my control, it'd be different. 
Yeah, it wouldn't have happened like this. When I had the surgery, it would have been done. But some politics got in the way. Whatever. That like, I'm through. Like, I'm not going to make these doctors forget it. Like, yeah, I clapped for the NHS. But that day, I felt like slapping the NHS. Like, because they basically slapped me in the face. Uh, like, you know, well, they stabbed me and threw me in a river, basically. That's what it felt like. Like, yeah. I'm not happy, but it is what it is, guys. Just move on. Like, I, I shouldn't accept it. I can't accept it. But move on, you know, just gotta live my life until I do have it in September at some point. Then I can recover and get back to football. I was hoping to do all this sooner, like now rather than later. Today I would have been having it. Well, today's Wednesday. Today or yesterday I would have had it. And I would have been done. Recovering right now. But the more I talk about it, the worse it is. Just gotta get it out of my mind. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's my summer. Can't, uh, you know, I've, all this time I could have gone to Italy. I can't because I'm just going to get ill out there. Don't want to don't get ill in Italy. Just make things even worse. So I've stayed here anyway for this surgery that I'm now having in September. So thank you, whoever um, made fate or whatever. Or Jesus. No, this is a test. This is the biggest test of my sanity and my mental, I think mental strength is a good word. That's what I was thinking there, like, I have some sort of, like, how? How did I keep calm in there? I was just trying to listen to what they said, ask them again and again to explain in detail every bit, trying to pick through everything, figure out if there's anything I could or they could do to change it. The mum was like, we're not leaving. We're not fucking leaving. <laughs> like Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving, I'm not fucking leaving. And we're just like, we're not leaving until we do something. So, oh, you're welcome to stay here. No. No. Thank you, but no. So that was that. The rest of the day was fun, but like, just got this shadow, this cloud hanging over me, like, no, I've got to have this now. But I've got to wait so long. I was right there. I'd been well for two weeks, made it over this final hurdle. So I thought, but yeah, forget it. I'm done. I'm done expecting things to go to plan. Because they don't. And expect the best plan for the worst. But I never expected this to happen. I'm trying to put a smiley face on. I'm trying to put some positivity into the whole situation but maybe it was fate maybe it was for the best we'll see but that is it for me guys just had to update you um but yeah gonna be an angry face in this thumbnail a few angry faces the red faced emoji but thank you guys enjoy the weather while well, I lower my chair. This is fun. Um, I hope I wasn't too high for the lens and that like it chopped my head off. But anyway, thank you for joining me again for my little whinge and a cry. Um, but yeah, slap the NHS. I don't care, cancel me. Slap them. Anyway guys, Take it easy fam. Peace.